there is no elevation without isolation. Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes men have to leave you. Your sisters have to leave you. And your brothers have to leave you alone. Can you turn that monitor a little bit? Someone say, I'm alone. So you have to deal with isolation. So that God may show up. So they are on the mountain. It's a father and a son. No one else is on this mountain. Now some of us in this place, you are dealing with this experience. The truth is that you have nobody in your life. You can talk to what you are going through. The only person you have is God. I feel it now. You have to find yourself in to this place such like that you have nobody you can call for an encouragement someone posted on social media and said I've learned to be alone and another person replied on a comment and said do you have friends nowadays me I learned how to be alone have you ever been in this place we call alone someone say alone so this is where the father and the son is I came in, ladies and gentlemen, to remind you there is something great about your life. But God was not going to release it until you pass the test. I feel it now. Someone say there is a test for the greatness. There is a test for someone to be a wife. There is a test for someone to be a man of God. There is a test for someone to be a business person. There is a test for everything in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not that people hate you, but God was moving you to a place of loneliness so that you can hear his voice. So he lays the boy on the altar to kill him. And the Bible says, the son is obeying the father. He never asked the father, why are you telling me to lie on the altar? Why are you telling me to do this? If it were today's sons, they will question the father. They will say, no. Why are you telling me to lay on the altar? Why are you raising the knife to kill me? You know, some preachers preach this thing as if Isaac was a small boy. No, he was not a small boy. He was a boy who could tell the father, I ain't gonna do it, daddy. I'm not gonna lie on the altar. But because of the true sonship between him and the father, he takes the instructions and the wisdom of the father. He says, if you be my father, I'm gonna, 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 gonna question what you ask me to do. So, can I have someone in this place? Run here quickly. Can I have you here? I want you to lie here now. I know you are going to question me. Praise the name of God. So this is Isaac now. Can I step on you? Are you strong? So this is Isaac now. Lying on the altar. He was a big man to say, Father, I'm not going to do that. But he obeys the voice of the father who is also a prophet in his life. There is no way Isaac was going to hear God if he cannot hear God through his father. So he obeys because he's not a zombie. Obedience is not for the zombies and humility is not for the zombies. So he lies there. Someone say, I've been lying here. Where are you God? I prophesy in the name of Jesus. There is somebody in this house. You have have been lying at the altar. You have been lying on the altar for the last two years, for the last three years, for the last four years. Lying at the altar. Not because you could not question, not because you could not resist, but because of the seed of obedience. 
preach Shadrach preach you have been lying at the altar no question at all praise the name of God and when the knife was lifted at you the knife of persecution the knives, knives of accusations the knives of the lack of the issues of life you stayed at the altar Rabba Shanda give somebody a high sight for the first time and hold on to your neighbor I've been laying at the altar for some time now I've been laying at the altar for the healing of my life I've been laying at the altar for the change of our family I've been laying at the altar for the change of my children I've been laying at the altar for the change of my ministry I hear in the spirit I hear in the spirit you are Lord you are God it's about to show up give three people a high five and tell your neighbor neighbor at the same altar where you have been lying for all this time you are Lord it's about to show up I don't know why I came to preach to. come on give me more volume give another person a high five and holler unto that person hey yo how many years have you been laying at the altar the Bible says and there was a voice from the forest that said to Abraham spare your son here is the lamp take it and sacrifice it here in the spirit there will be a provision I hear in the spirit there will be a provision for every man and the woman of God who have been laying at the altar. You have the reasons to quit. You have the reasons to say no. You have the reasons to say I will never do it again. You have the reasons to say I will never go to that place again. But you said God I will obey your servant. I will lay at the altar. I hear the voice. I hear the voice. He's about to show up. 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 My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Shall. Show up, up, behold, here comes the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Someone lift up your hands and say, my Lord, say, my Lord, will show up, my Lord, my Lord. My Lord, we show up. My Lord will show up in that family. He will show up in that house. He will show up in that marriage. He will show up in that ministry. He will show up in that discouragement. He will show up in that disappointment. You know what we gonna do? Say my man, Lord will show up. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Your Lord will show up. He will show up. He will show up. Your Lord will show up. Your Lord will show up. Your Lord will show up. There is a shift for you. Raise your voice and worship Him. Ambia Mungu ni meka kwa ya madabau sana. Ni meka kwa ya madabau sana. Ni meka kwa ya madabau sana. Raise your voice. Tell the Lord God. 
Nimekaa kwa haya madhabahu sana. Raise your voice shaka dagada la bayanga. Reba shaka dagada la bayanga la bosana. 